Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Simon, you're watching Cryptechology. So, um, just taking a quick break while I'm doing my field work right now. And I was thinking about something that I want to share with the community. So, if you're ordering Helium devices right now, which is awesome, um, and, and you want to help us build the network and grow the IoT infrastructure, that is amazing. But there's just a few things, you know, you need to remember and you need to know. Number one, the, the, the shipping time right now is crazy, crazy long. And, and a lot of people are in the same boat and, you know, we, you know, we get it. So it's frustrating, but plan, you know, plan to, 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 to wait, you know, three, three months, three to four months before you receive your device. Um, it is what it is right now. There's just a shortage. Another thing, um, sorry. Another thing is that when Helium, Helium launched and with, with Nebra, um, I believe, you know, they only anticipated maybe about 12,000 orders they were prepared for. And originally, the demand was about uh, 26,000. Then they were like, shoot, we need some help. You know what I mean? So that's why they went into to get some other vendors then we got rack wireless came in there boom another huge high demand i think like thirty thousand orders and then bobcat another you know huge amount of orders that came in um i think right now to date there is over a hundred and fifty thousand maybe two hundred plus um thousand orders that have have that, that are in place pace you know so the demand is super, super high. And the orders just kept coming in. It's super overwhelming. And they're still, you know, they're still trying to catch up from that 26,000 from the jump, you know what I mean? So be patient with it and understand that, um, you know, you're not the only one. A number two, when you do get your device and you want to start growing the network, if you have more than one device coming in, please take the time to go through helium.com and go through the docs and go through the, the helium improvement uh, proposals. Uh, HIP 14 is for the hex, I think, for the hex H3 and the max density, I believe, it gets into that, and HIPs 15 and 17. But basically what all that means is there's things in place for anyone that's trying to gamify the network. You're not gonna be able to buy a whole bunch of devices and then stack up, you know, three, four, five devices within a three, four, 500 meter radius, okay? Like, it's going to negatively affect your profitability and your reward scale. So understand the best placement for your hotspot is honestly, being the only one in that hexagon in you know i like to use helium vision we were using it last night on the discord community chat which is a great place to to go communicate and talk with other people in the community from across the globe and normally there's like 10 to 15 people on the community chat throughout the throughout the day 24 7 almost like just talking learning um asking questions and just engaging in the community which is even better so the support is there um there are many there it's there's an overwhelming amount of individuals that are willing to provide answers to all of your questions so definitely go hit up the um the discord for helium um i like to attend the helium hacks on wednesdays where it kind of gives you a vision of the future and what other projects and companies and other use cases with the helium network so building the infrastructure is what we're doing right now but we're building the infrastructure for what for sensors for iot devices for data all right that that is that's why we're doing this so you know try to look beyond mining i know you can mine some coin and make some money and it's awesome but at the same time when you're setting up your devices and you're putting your placements think about the iot infrastructure think about 
if I put this device here, will it help provide a network coverage for this location? All right, and so when you do that, you get rewarded better. So take the time, use Helium Vision. Um, I believe the uh, it's app dot um, helium dot vision. It's a great tool. You can do RF simulations. Um, you can test out different DBI antenna ranges. You can uh, mess with the elevation um, and just and put you know placements of hotspots where you would like them to be, where you think they would be. So you can really plan well. I have 25 devices coming in. I have my I'm working on my Helium 25 plan. And I use Helium Vision all the time. I love that tool. But just so to, as a reminder again, if you have multiple devices coming in, don't try to gamify the network. It's going to negatively affect your profitability and your reward scale. And if you're doing this to make some coin, you might as well set it up the right way. So things are in place to prevent people from doing that. So take the time, go through Helium Vision, check out the Explorer maps, figure out where are other hotspots in your location. And what I like to do, instead of trying to grow from the inside out, I grow from the outside in. So I'll put my center point of where I'll have one hotspot, and then I'll measure about a thousand meters out from that spot and see where I can place a hotspot that will be in the hexagon i like to use resolution 10 and resolution 9 um and i'm looking to see which hexagon has the least amount of hotspots in it so i don't run into the max density issue all right so i hope this helps i'm simon stay tuned for more helium tips and advice and looking forward to growing this iot network of the future with you too let's level up together